Hi, I'm Betty. I'm Becky. And Betty, I was wondering if you had a simple, proven 10 step, step program to reduce or prevent Alzheimer's or even help restore memory well, for those without Alzheimer's. Would you want to know more? I would definitely want to know more. Okay. Now, I want something. If I was looking for something, I would want something individualized because I find out the one size fits all doesn't really work. No, there's there's too much variance between people, even you and I. Yeah. Even and, though we're and twins. we're twins. <laughs> <laughs> Seven years apart. Seven years apart. Y'all get to guess who's the older one. Um, so it's called the ITC, Individual True. Combination Therapy. Oh. And it's in this book. Becky, what, Betty, what's the title? Cured, 81 Natural Cures. <laughs> I can't mention it. Okay, so we're not doctors. This isn't medical advice. This is just a book we're reading and we're interested in, and we want your opinion. What do you think? So here's what we've been reading about Alzheimer's. Uh, there's researchers have identified 36 deficiencies, sources of inflammation and hormonal imbalances that all play a part in decreasing mental function. Well, so de decreases mental function, maybe brain fog or, you know, Alzheimer's not being able to even remember. I think so. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Um, Dr. D Dale Bredson, he was the director at UCLA's Mary Easton Center, uh, talks about all these deficiencies being like pieces in a puzzle. Okay. Uh, for example, you might have a very high deficiency in vitamin D and maybe a little bit of deficiency in estrogen. And those two pieces put together creates quite a picture that reduces your mental capacity. Um, it causes cognitive function to decline. So they have to look for all the deficiencies instead of just one. They can't just target just one at a time. And he did a very, in his, his study that's published here, there were 10 participants. So that's a very small study. Real small. Uh, but nine out of 10 participants saw significant improvement. Now that's a real good average. I and, mean, that's huge. And we're talking three to six months. Oh, well, that's even a short period of time if you're talking about changing how your Alzheimer's is or your mental fog. Or right. In that. fact, out of those 10 people, six of them had had to quit work because their mental ability, they, um, they had to stay at home and quit work because of their symptoms. So it wasn't just something little. It was really full-blown Alzheimer's at that point. Six months later, all six had returned to their jobs. Oh my gosh, think how great that would be. <laughs> I, I read that, I, I, like, I, mean, I have to tell people. <laughs> yeah, not only that you could feel better or somebody you know, but being able, even if one little teeny piece of this helps somebody, yeah, my heart's gonna feel better. Yes. And you know, it's not just brain frog. 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 <laughs> it's not just brain frog. <laughs> it's not just forgetting to turn off the stove. Okay, and walk that's away important. From it. Yeah, and, but actually, People with Alzheimer's continue to deteriorate until they need full-time care. Yeah, yeah. Because you can't even let them go out of the house alone because they may not find their way home. Yeah, and it's considered a death sentence, a third highest wow. killer in the United States, um, showing that promising results. I'm excited. I, I'm excited to hear. Okay, so we're going to, but we've already talked long enough. We're going to tell you more in the next video. Okay. So watch for us later. Take care. Bye.